on brothers and sisters. So the Vatican might release holy Jewish artifacts from its storage galleries. In a stunning example of religious largesse, Vatican officials have expressed a willingness to reveal artifacts from the Holy Land that have been in their possession for hundreds of years. To facilitate this, Moskov established the Vatican Museum Exchange Program. Uh, a high-profile lawyer who happened to be religious was researching a case at the National Library of France, said Rabbi Moskov. He came across a document recording gifts that were given to Pope Innocent III by Baldwin I, the Emperor of the Latin Empire of Constantinople, in 1204. The document listed the gifts, which were in fact artifacts taken from the Holy Land. The lawyer contacted me on behalf of the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs because he knew that I'm an investigative archaeologist, said Rabbi Moskov. He told me the Vatican may be interested in sharing with the public the Byzantine-era artifacts from Israel from 11th, 12th, and even 13th centuries. This includes ancient makta incense shovels and katsotros silver trumpets, as well as other smaller Jewish cultic items used for sacrificial rites. While the artifacts are not the originals from the temple in Jerusalem, they will help us understand more about temple items, said Moskov. There are actually several organizations behind this and even ministries in the government, though many do not want to be revealed at this time as having a part in the negotiations with the Vatican. A lot of people want to see this happen on a humanitarian level, sharing significant artifacts with the public. This is not restitution, Moskov said, it is an act of goodwill on the part of the Vatican towards the Jewish people. So there are a lot of groups in government that are all working together to make sure they get everything they need for the rebuilt temple that's coming. There is a huge focus, secular and religious, pushing towards this temple that we know will be built. Everything is lining up. And you know what? Besides Area 51 that everybody wants to storm to go find their long-lost uncles and grey aliens, the Vatican vaults, would be on the top of my list for the things that they've gathered, stolen and heaped up over the centuries and have down there that I would love to bring to light. And I think there's a lot more that belongs to Israel that's buried in that vault alongside bones and who knows what else. But the exciting thing is there is a large push becoming more and more public every day towards this temple that is going to be built shortly. God bless. Keep looking up as we watch the convergence play out fast. Shalom.